Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Wrapped. We had MIUI 10 ROM for Redmi Note 5 Pro for almost two weeks now with new Android P style quick toggles, notification panel, brightness slider, new recents menu, and volume slider. Even though the ROM has been pretty stable, there were few issues like no Google services installed by default, no dual 4G VLT, and no multi language options apart from English and Chinese. Today, MIUI 10 Global Closed Beta ROM is out which has Google services pre-installed. Now let's see how to get this ROM on your phone. First download the ROM from the link in the description, transfer it to your phone's internal storage. Now boot to DWRP Recovery, select Wipe from Home Screen. Now pick Dalvik, Cache, Data, System and Vendor Partitions and swipe to wipe. After it is done, go back to Home Screen, select Install tab, pick the transfer ROM zip file and swipe to confirm flash. The installation process takes about 2 or 3 minutes after this reboot your phone. This is the MIUI 10 welcome screen and as you can see there are multiple language options like English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, almost every major language is included in this ROM. Next pick your region, the right region will give better network and GPS reception. Wi-Fi is working fine as you can see even the fingerprint sensor had no issues. There are only two themes included and this is about the setup. The free RAM on first boot is about 1.9 or 2 GB. Just like the China ROM, we have the new redesigned Android P style quick toggles with clock, day and date info at the top left corner and network battery settings button on top right corner. Just below the quick toggles, we have the new brightness slider. This is the notification panel and here you can snooze or go to the notification settings when you swipe left or right on a notification just like the stock Android. There is a new volume slider with which you can control individual volume of music, notifications, alarms, enable silent or do not disturb modes and also countdown for switching off silent mode automatically. This is a recent menu, you can swipe left or right to close the tab. With long press you can go to app settings, enable split screen mode and lock that particular tab in the recents menu. Just like the China ROM, on the left side of the home screen, you can add or customize a couple of widgets and services like App Vault, Shortcuts, Notes and Cap services. Let's go to the settings about phone and as you can see the model number is Redmi Note 5 Pro, MIUI version is 8.6.14, Android version is 8.1.0 with MIUI 1 security patch. Dual band Wi-Fi is working fine and dual 4G VLT is also working. This is the first time dual 4G worked on my Redmi Note 5 Pro. And as you can see, I'm using two Geo sims on 4G network and you can use mobile data on one sim and make calls with other sim. Calls have no issues, video calls are fine, Bluetooth is working, no issues with tethering, face unlock works great along with fingerprint unlock and like MIUI 9.5 we have full screen gestures, swipe up to go home, swipe up and pause for recents, swipe left or right from edge of the screen to go back. One thing I noticed is that the global ROM lacks Mi AI feature. The camera app works normally, there's portrait mode for front and rear cameras, HDR mode and regarding video recording only 1080p is supported with video stabilization enabled. Audio has no issues with loudspeaker and earphones and video playback is also fine. All sensors are working fine as you can see accelerometer, magnetic field, orientation, gyroscope, light, proximity, gravity, everything is normal. Moving on to the benchmarks, NT2 version 7 score is 1,12,873 with Geekbench 4, single core score is 1,343 and multi core score is 4,934 and with Nina Mark 2 it is 60.1 frames per second. The ROM is great with everything working including Google services and dual 4G. Do note that this is closed beta ROM and you can only install this via custom recovery like TWRP and not via system updater. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon in my next video.